it up. And our Ken Tomesh is in step tonight with the guys who are putting their best, their best feet forward. Set, hut, good job, good job. These are two a day, but for these two, a day isn't quite the same. While their teammates knock heads, Dean Biasucci and Ron Stark knock footballs around. But don't knock it. It really is like boot camp, so to speak. Um, I just got through kicking nine days in a row. I've never done that in my life, and my leg just felt like a piece of wet spaghetti. It's like bench pressing 300 pounds once, and then getting up, and then get down doing it again, and then doing it again. So um, it does wear on you, and it wears your leg out. You know, he works hard. Yeah, sure he works hard. Punters have got the, that's the life, you know, punters and uh, place kickers. Make all the big money and don't do anything. See, a kicker's life might seem pretty easy, but really right now the pressure isn't on, just the beginning of camp. The real pressure comes on at the end of a game. It's like Baldinger is going to be the man to snap. He does. And the kick, it's on the way. And sails wide right. He asserts he has missed six out of eight now this year. Despite Biasucci's off-season, the off-season came and went, and Dean's the only kicker in camp. It doesn't surprise me that they didn't bring anybody in, but I told somebody else a little earlier today that it wouldn't surprise me if they brought four or five guys in either. So uh, I guess what I'm saying is nothing surprises me. But this might surprise you. When they're not kicking, Ron and Dean help out the offense by lining up at wide receiver. So far, though, Jeff George has yet to call their number. Oh, no, I'd like that. That'd be fun. I get in there and do a little, uh, I got an end zone dance I use every once in a while, so I could do it. I don't count on it. The Colts would rather have these guys get their kicks the old-fashioned way. In Anderson, Ken Tomash. Stop! Six sports.